You may have watched my video about crocheting round using t-shirt yarn. This time we are also using t-shirt yarn but crocheting back and forth making a rectangular or square piece. You can use this technique for so many things like rugs, table mats, coasters, bags, cushion covers and so on. You can either buy t-shirt yarn, see the video notes about that, or cut up real t-shirts. This is what I have done. And then you need yarn for the crocheting. I'm using mercerized cotton and my hook is three and a half millimeter. So let's start. I have my t-shirt yarn here and I already have a slip knot on my hook. And you start as close to the start of the yarn as possible, but so that it doesn't slip off. And uh, put the t-shirt yarn over your yarn and uh, go round it and take a yarn over and make a single crochet. That's a single crochet in the American sense. And then you can do it quite tight. So tighten it a bit. Then chain two, chain two, and go a bit forward as much as these two chains and uh, put the hook round the t-shirt yarn to the back, take a yarn over, bring it round from the front and again a single crochet. And really that's what you are doing the whole time. So chain two and again hook round the t-shirt yarn, take a yarn over and make a stitch, a single crochet. And then continue making more. Chain two, round the t-shirt yarn and single crochet. I have used two chain stitches here. You could use only one if you wanted the stitches to show more or you could have more if you want them just to be a bit further apart. But don't use too many because uh, then it doesn't stay together very well anymore if, if it's too loose. So this is how you continue as long as you need to for whatever you are making. So uh, if you're making something small, you just do a bit. Uh, if you do a rug, then it needs to be much longer, of course. This here rug that I'm working on is about 80 centimeters wide. I'm making a small piece now just to show how it goes. So I'll make a few more of these stitches and then we turn. Chain two, go round and again. One more and then we turn. Okay. Chain one for turning. And then bring the yarn forward on this side. And then turn the work. And uh, twist the t-shirt yard yarn round. Like this here. And uh, put the yarn behind it and now make a stitch after on the other side of this here where it turned. So a single crochet here again. And then we continue this way. Chain two. And now you will always insert the hook into this here loop of the two chain stitches that we made. So in between the two single crochets. So here 
insert the hook there and take your yarn and it again goes round the t-shirt yarn and make a single crochet like that and then chain two and hook into the chain loop again and make a stitch chain two and again always into that chain loop and continue like that until you get close to the other end I'm at the other end of the row now and again I chain two and insert the hook there but now before turning so that the work will stay even at the edges I'll chain one and make another stitch into this here same space like that and then chain one for turning and bring the yarn forward and turn the work like this and a single crochet here again at the start of the new round new row chain one and insert the hook into that smaller space in there that we just made and from here on continuing the same so always chaining two and inserting the hook into the next loop chain two and insert the hook in there and so on I'm turning one more time and then on the next row I'll change the color of the t-shirt yarn so here again I still chain two and uh, make a stitch here this is even so we don't need an extra stitch there but chain one bring the yarn forward and turn and continue on this here round now I need just one and inserting the hook there so that it will make an even pattern of these here stitches now I chain two and then I'll change the color of this here yarn I prefer to do that in the middle of the row but you can equally well do it in here so that it doesn't start unraveling you need to put the two t-shirt yarns on top of each other for a while and for that it's worth cutting them sort of tapering them in here's the new t-shirt yarn I'm going to use and it's already cut like this here and now I'm cutting this one that I have been using the large the bigger the project that you are working on the longer you can make this here tapering this here is quite small that I'm working on like that then set the two on top of each other like that there and continue normally so I'm chaining two and now I've escaped <laughs> and now I'm going round both of them and continuing like this there and then soon enough this one will be finished you could even cut it a bit shorter it's quite long there now but this is how you continue until you get whatever it is that you are working on.